How you going YouTubers? Today we're out in the paddock and we are going to be removing the roof skin off this ute. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to take your chrome trim off and then we're going to be wanting to get the front and rear glass out. I'm not going to dive in too much with the front glass because if we go over this side, I'll swap hands. I'm already free. So, might have to do a video in the future on how to remove windscreens, but this one's going to be pretty easy for me. From windscreen out. First things first, try not to fall through the floor. So the quick and easy way I like to use to get the window out is I like to get a pair of pointy nose pliers or flat blade screwdriver and lift up the edge of the rat's tail and then what I do is just pull the rat's tail out. Once that's out I get my Stanley knife and run it along that gap where the rat's tail would sit or the lowest point in the rubber and then peel away the outer of the rubber and once that's out I just push the window either in or out. Alright, change of scenery, we dragged it around to the gantry with the faithful wood ute and uh, we're going to lob the roof off and then unpick it off the car. For sale, six thousand dollars. Roof not included. Or the chocolate milk. So for some people, cutting the roof off isn't an option because it, you're removing the roof skin off your project car, but for this, this is just a parts car. So once it's cut off and moved up to the shed, what we did was expose the spot welds. Once they were exposed, I went along with the 1 8 drill bit to do a pilot hole. Kyle went along with the spot weld drill bit and drilled out the spot welds. And then after that, the front and back spot welds were done for this. It's always good to have a second pair of hands because as you can see in some spots, I have to uh, hold the roof to stop it from moving so Kyle can drill it out. 
Right, now that the spot wells are all drilled out, we're gonna be melting the lead out. So the lead's normally, well the lead, not normally, the lead is joined through here. So we'll get the blowtorch and melt it out. And underneath that, there'll be some spot welds that we'll need to drill out as well. And then we can go about getting the sides off. I scared the I can't see any rust on this side. Ah. Uh, oh, maybe just here. Ah, no, it's pretty plain. It's crusty, that one. Yeah. Can you see the condensation burning off? Yeah. Here? Yeah, I can. You can see it looks wet all around it too. Yeah. It's got a crack in it right here. Yep. So I reckon it's going to have some rust in it. And that's the hood lining on fire. That's fine. That's what the hood lining is for. Thick one, isn't it? It's not wide. It's almost a quarter inch thick. I wonder if it's soaking so when it come out. I mean, they must have had some trouble trying to get this one to fit. Mm. Look at that. Look at it from the other way. Look at it from this way. That is how thick the lead was. And we're still sweating it out. So now that the lead's sweated out, what we're going to be doing is cutting along here with the angle grinder, along back there, and a bit through here, and then we'll flip it over and detach it from where the gutters are. I'm choosing to cut it through here, because when I put this roof skin on the other car, I'll just extend this bit down to the quarter panel.
Mace. Alright guys, that is my video on how to remove a U or one tonne of roast skin. They're really not that difficult in the means of unpicking things, which is a good thing because there's more of these roofs with rust than without. And they're they are really not that difficult to unpick, as you saw in the video. Um, that being said, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, or subscribe to the channel. And until then, take it easy.